In this video, I'll be showing how to use the capacitor bank that I showed in the previous video to make some pretty cool photos. Now, the setup of the capacitor bank is the exact same as in the last video. Now, I've done a lot of these photos already, and I've found that using springs, just steel tension springs or compression springs, work really well for this because they have a nice trail of sparks when they explode. So the way I've got I've captured these pictures is by setting up the DSLR on the opposite side of the glass to protect it. And the expo and the way that I was able to get some of these pictures is by setting the exposure to 1.6 seconds. So that way I have a long exposure time so I can capture the entire explosion and still have some wiggle room to capture the exposure manually. Now, the camera already has the correct settings, and if anybody's interested, those are linked in the description. So now I will charge the bank. Okay, the bank is charged. Now, kill the lights. Order. Trigger the DSLR. Pop the spring. And now I've gotten that exposure. You can turn the lights back on. Dump the bank. And now there the spring has melted. Obviously. Yeah, I'll show one more explosion. I'll put some aluminum foil in the test stand. So let me set that up. There is 130 volts on the bank. And now I'm ready to fire. That time the wire didn't explode completely, but it still melted. So I'll include a little slideshow of some different pictures I was able to capture with this method.